Hello everybody, welcome. We are here today at the Grand Floridian Hotel here at Walt Disney World Orlando. I am excited. I love this hotel. I think this might be one of her favorite hotels. And we are here today because we are going to be trying out the Grand Floridian Cafe, uh, which I've never been to. Have you ever been to it? Nope. Never been there. Uh, the Victorian flair at this particular hotel. I don't know what kind of food we're going to get. Maybe some English food or some crumpets, or I don't even know what's Victorian. Is Victorian American? Is Victorian English? I have no idea what it is, so we're going to find out. Um, but never been to this restaurant before, and don't know what to expect. So we're going to check it out, and we'll see what we find. So we are on our way into the Grand Floridian Hotel for our reservation for dinner. Uh, they have breakfast, they have lunch and dinner, and probably a brunch, I think, of some kind. Um, I think our daughter, I think they went here for breakfast not too long ago, like a couple of days ago. Yeah. Um, and they said the breakfast was really good, so we figured we had to come try it. We're here for dinner. Um, but we're at the Grand Floridian Hotel, a little bit of construction going on right here and over at the Polynesian next door. So there is a warning that says, there may be construction noises and things throughout the day, but we're here at evening, so I don't think there's gonna be any construction noises. So, question is, what do you think about the Grand Floridian Hotel? I think it's the most beautiful to look at. My favorite hotel hotel is probably Riverside, just because we have a lot of memories there, but uh, the most beautiful one, I think, is the Grand Floridian, especially from the monorail, when you can see like all of it from a distance and see how like big and grand it is. Um, yeah, I love it. Yeah, so do you think a lot of people stay here at the Grand Floridian because of the way it looks? Or because it's proximity to Magic Kingdom? Or because of all the amenities here? I mean, it is it, it is a little bougie here. They don't stay here because it's cheap, that's for sure. Yeah, they definitely aren't staying here because it's cheap. <laughs> it's a, it feels a little bougie here. I'm not a big fan of this Victorian style, personally. It's not my bag. Um, I like more the kind of like cool eclectic places and things and I'm also a big fan of the all-star resorts oh, Like yeah, the all-star and the pop century all, really. <laughs> and the art of animation. So. I like them all because they have like so much Disney Like feel to them. They have like the characters I know they're like value or like moderate resorts So they feel cheaper, but honestly the room sizes the difference is I broke it down on a previous video the difference in room sizes between value all the way up through moderate and deluxe and They are very small all the rooms are small just in general at Disney. Don't expect giant rooms unless yeah. you are here for Disney Vacation Club where you have some sort of suite. Um, like the Art of Animation suites are actually oh, pretty good. We, rent, we got one of those because we had a few people. But normal room sizes, they're about the same everywhere. It's a little bit bigger here than they would be in a value resort. Um, yeah, but so it's not, it's not my favorite per se, but um, I do love the grounds. Yeah, I love it. It's so pretty here. Like, I really do love it. I grew um, up in a house that was completely Victorian and kind of like shabby yeah. chic Very white. decoration. It's Very all white with some pink and that's it. White and pink, but mostly white. So this to me is like home. Um, yes. This is exactly how I grew up. So. Her house that she grew up in was, so it was like a museum. It was very cold, very beautiful, and you can't touch anything. Okay, so let's head into our reservation. Did you check us in already? Because you can check in with the mobile app. So maybe, well, let's check in real quick. Okay, now we're checked in. So now we're gonna head on in. But I was just thinking, I think this is the best Christmas hotel. I think this hotel has the best Christmas stuff. It has the humongous tree in the center of the lobby. It has the cool gingerbread house that has all these different treats. If you haven't checked out our uh, gingerbread house, Grand Floridian Christmas video, I'll link to it below. But they have this awesome gingerbread house here that you can actually buy the gingerbread shingles and eat them. And I mean, come on, who doesn't want to try, who doesn't want to eat one of the shingles or the bricks <laughs> that they make the gingerbread house out of here at the Grand Floridian? I had to do it, we did it this year for the first time ever, trying one of the bricks. The brick was actually pretty good, I liked it. I didn't like it. It, it had chocolate on one side of it, um, and then it would, but it was puffy. I thought it was gonna be like a hard yeah. graham cracker type texture but it was kind of like a puffy piece of bread. 
but with like this like chocolate on one side. Anyway, it was pretty good. I liked it a lot actually. So I think this has the best Christmas decorations, the best Christmas atmosphere, this particular hotel. Oh, our table's ready already, so we're gonna go in. Okay, we just sat down um, and it's already feeling fancy to me. It's all, it's dainty. It feels, I feel like I need like little miniature, um, like what is it? Like tea cakes, is that what they're called? Tea cakes? Cake teas, whatever. I feel like I need little miniature cakes, little little tea cakes, and some some tea and crumpets. I don't know why. I don't think this is English at all. But it's just reminding me of some sort of like English style tea party. Um, this Victorian look, I think, but it already feels fancy to me. Even the writing on the menu looks fancy. Like, look, just look at this menu. It has flowers on it. Look at the writing. It's got like the fancy like I don't know cursive type font to it. But let's talk about the food. But you know, it feels fancy in here, but honestly, the prices aren't that fancy. I don't think the pricing here is that bad. Ooh, they have a caramel, uh, I mean, a caramelized French onion soup, 12 bucks, which I don't think is that bad. An apple salad, 13 bucks. Ooh, but with pecan brittle. Yum, that sounds good. They got a few plant based things here, so that's good. Now, let's look at the entrees. What do we have? We have buttermilk fried chicken. I think my daughter got the, the fried chicken with waffles for breakfast, and that looked really good. I don't know if it's the same chicken. Slow braised pork shank. Signature burger, which actually sounds good, but I don't know that I'm going to get a burger. I want to try something different. They have gnocchi, which looks good. Candy's talking about the curry. She did ask the team member um, what, you know, what the curry flavor was about, if it's kind of like Indian curry or whatnot. They said it was more of a Thai flavor, so maybe a little bit sweeter. So we'll find out. Not too spicy. If she gets that salmon new york strip yum they have some alcoholic beverages and they have a lot of different um sundries on here wines and things like that i know they have some desserts but i don't see any desserts on the menu so as with a lot of the restaurants we're finding at disney they don't have the desserts on the regular menu so i don't know if they have a separate dessert menu or if they just tell you what their desserts are after the meal but i haven't seen them on the actual menus but they do have it on the app so they have a Brown Betty Profiterol, Seasonal Fruit Cobbler, Cookies and Cream Chocolate Layer Cake, which, ooh, looks, it's a cream cheese. It's a Cookies and Cream Cheesecake layered between chocolate cake and a Key Lime Bar. And it does look like they have um, some kids' meals, too. Salad, fruit salad. It looks like they have salmon on the kids', the kids meals. So they have a kids' meal salmon, grilled chicken breast, ooh, a steak, flatbread pizza, Wow, they have um, some fancy stuff on the kids' menu. This isn't just like, you know, chicken nuggets and fries. They actually have grilled chicken breasts and salmon and steak. We had no idea we were getting bread, but a basket of bread just showed up and butter. It looks really good. They're kind of like ball shape, which I thought was funny. They, they look like a dinner roll um, and they're warm, which I'm very glad about. I love warm rolls. So let's see. So it's all, it's, it looks good. It's not hollow or anything. It's actually, ha it's like bready on the inside, if bready is a word. I don't think it is. But um, it looks really good and it's warm, which I love warm bread. It's nothing fancy. It's hard to swallow. Um, it's good, but it's nothing. It's just a dinner roll. There's nothing like special about it, I would say. Just regular butter and a regular dinner roll, but it's warm, that's good. Man, I swear, this butter looks exactly the same as the butter at, Wilder at the um, Wilderness Lodge, at the um, Whispering Canyon. The butter looks exactly the same. It's got like the same little like divots in it or whatever you want to call it. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like that same like spreadable butter. Did it have any flavor at all in the butter? Or is it just normal butter? It's not, it's not like sweet butter or anything? I'm gonna try it. No. Uh-uh. Yeah, no. Also, it's not, not a very good roll. I don't think it's... I think you were being generous. Honestly, I was... When you were, when you were talking about it, I was like... I was thinking... Honestly, when, when you were talking about the dinner roll, I thought you were being like a little harsh. I was like, wow, she's she's really not like selling this dinner roll at all. And then I tried the dinner roll. I'm not selling it at all. It's kind of busted, honestly. I feel like I've had better, you know those like um, 
You know those packs of those, those rolls? What are those rolls that we get for Thanksgiving? They're like these like white, like squarish like rolls, you know? They come in like a a twelve pack. Just like off the shelf, and you throw them in the oven for like a couple of minutes. Those are better than this. By a lot. Mine's kinda of stale almost. It's like kinda of, it's kinda of, not like crunchy stale. It smells good. It's just mediocre though. Okay, so my French onion soup, my caramelized French onion soup just showed up. Um, I mean, it looks so good. Um, it's nice and like um, crisp, like it's been like sitting in an oven, hopefully. Um, a lot of times they microwave it um, and just put it in that little crock and then they microwave it and that kind of like, you know, cooks and blisters the cheese on the outside. A lot of times they will actually put the crock in an oven um, and then oven bake it. That's why it's usually called baked French onion soup. I don't know what they did, um, but I like when it's got all that like brown, crispy cheese on the edges. Um, almost like burnt, the cheese being the crispy cheese on the top is just my absolute favorite. Now I will tell you, I am a French onion snob, I guess I would say. A connoisseur of French onion soup. I'm, I'm big time into French onion. Every restaurant we go to that has French onion soup, I will get the French onion soup. Because it's my favorite soup of all time. So I'm a little picky, meaning I like it everywhere. But it really takes a lot to impress me, and I have specific qualities of French onion soup that I look for. So we're gonna give it a go, and I'm gonna see, I got a little bit of the bread, a little bit of the crouton or the bread inside, a little bit of the caramelized onions, a little bit of the au jus, the, the actual broth. I didn't get any cheese. I'll do that in a second, let's see how it is. Honestly, it's kind of awesome. It's actually pretty good. Really good, actually. Um, it's actually quite good. I'm surprised. Um, I want to see what you think before I give my my review. I thought you were going to say it wasn't very good because it looked light in color, and usually the lighter the French onion soup, the less I like it, but it smells good. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah. I like it. I think it's really good, actually. Yeah. I like it a lot. I'm going to try it with my bread in it, only because I want to. Yeah, that might actually make the bread better. That's really good. I like it a lot. Yeah, I actually really like it. The qualities I look for is a good balance of the broth and the onions. If there's too many onions and not enough broth, that's a no-go. If there's too much broth and not enough onions, that's a no-go. I also look for a good crouton in there. I think the crouton in here is a little bit mushy. Sometimes I like when the crouton has that like chewy, like crispy edge inside the crouton, but that's okay. It's not a make or break for me. Um, and then, and the crouton tastes good. It's got a good flavor. And I haven't tried the cheese yet, but I like when the broth is a little saltier. But I also like when it's not just pure salt, and it has like, I don't know, almost like a, a, a its own unique spin on the on the flavoring. Usually there's like a wine flavor to it, or some sort of like Worcester sauce flavor or something. But it, it actually has a nice balance. It's it's a, it. I can take it a little bit saltier than it is. Um, but it's almost perfect. It's almost a perfect French onion. I'm surprised. Um, I want to give a shot to the cheese now because I haven't actually gotten any of the cheese. And, you know, the cheese is the best part of the French onion soup. Yum. Mmm. Have you tried the cheese yet? It's going to take me 10 minutes to chew it. But that's how you know it's good cheese, because usually like if it's like real fresh mo like real mozzarella, it takes a little longer to chew, but it's actually really good. It's, it, the cheese is nice and salty. Yum. Okay, I'm a fan of this French onion soup. It's gonna get, all, the whole thing's gonna get eaten. So our food just showed up. It looks really good. Um, I got the farmer's market vegetable curry with chicken. You can add chicken, um, shrimp, and or tofu. Um, it has bamboo rice, which I've never had bamboo rice before. Uh, banana curry. I like bananas and I like curry. I've never had them together. 
um, stir fried seasonal ve- season seasonal vegetables. That's hard to say, which I love, and chicken. So um, I asked the waitress um, what it was. I was like, it's is because I've had curry that doesn't taste like curry. Indian curry is my favorite food. I actually eat it all the time. Um, but I've had curry that I haven't liked, which, um, and I'm like, what is this? She said, this is more of like a Thai. She went and asked the chef, which was really nice, um, a Thai curry. Um, she described it as not being um, spicy, but it's actually really spicy. I already tried it, which I'm glad because I almost didn't get it because she said it wasn't going to be spicy, but it actually is. And um, the banana is just like little dollops of, of a banana sauce they put in the curry, she said, um, to make it not as spicy. The rice is green, the bamboo rice. I was curious what that tasted like, so I'm going to go ahead and try that. And this is $26, by the way, which I don't think is bad. And it's a lot of food. I like the rice, and it's al dente, it's not mushy. Um, I taste the sauce, and I like the sauce. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I've had something like it before in the past. She said it was going to be sweet, but I don't really think it's that sweet because I just taste a lot of spice, which I'm glad about. Um, the vegetables are cooked really, really well. They're like firm and not mushy. Um, the chicken um, has like a charcoal, it's like charcoal on the outside, which I like. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, so she said it's spicy. So I think I'm gonna not partake in that just yet. I'm gonna taste my food first and then maybe try hers in a second. But then, because for me, when I eat something spicy, like once I eat something spicy, my too spicy for me, my taste buds are gone. Like I can't taste anything else after that. So I'm gonna give her the rest of this French onion soup while I talk about what I got. Um, so my dish that I chose, they had a bunch of really good looking dishes and I decided to get one that I've never tried before um, anywhere, which is the gnocchi that they have, which looks really good and it smells good. Candy said she wanted to try mine. Um, she wanted to taste it for sure. It looks good and it smells good. I'm excited. So it's a gnocchi with red pepita pesto sauce with confit tomatoes, ricotta cheese, and seasonal vegetables is $24. And it looks good. Um, there's only like little dollops of ricotta. I was curious how the ricotta was gonna work because ricotta and like kind of a gnocchi like that, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like a giant glob in there or if it was gonna be mixed in. And the confit tomatoes, there's like literally like one tomato on here, a couple little pieces of broccoli. And then there's this, um, I don't know what this is, but it was just like decoration. So yeah, you can just see the kind of like the little dollops, but. I don't know, I want to try this out. I'm just going to go straight in for the gnocchi. Just kind of skip the rest of the stuff that's going on there. These are like little pillowy, delicious nugs. So we'll see. Yum. Flavor profile. The flavor profile is really good. So gnocchi are basically um, potatoes, flour, and eggs. It's an Italian, like an Italian dumpling. A um, little bit of potato, a little bit of flour, a little bit of egg put together. So it has that kind of like potato-y, starchy texture to the dumpling, um, which you may or may not like. I don't think it's for everybody. Um, but the flavor of the pesto is really good. I like it. This looks really good to me. It is really good. I like the sauce on it. Um, I wasn't sure if I would, but I I do. But um, honestly, if I were to eat a whole plate of that, I think I would be like super thirsty because it is the texture of it. Like I feel like I would need that as like a little side item, like over here, like like this. But having a whole bowl of that, I feel like would be a lot. Okay, I really love this gnocchi, um, but can I try Can I try yours? I'm kind of scared. I don't know. I'm just going to reach. Here, let me just, yeah, let me just try that. We'll see. I don't know. It looks really good. Should I try the rice or the chicken? Or like a little bit of both? The rice looks kind of good. Let me get some of this sauce. Is it really spicy, though? Like, I don't know. Okay, I got a little bit of the chicken, a little bit of the rice, some of the sauce. 
I'm going to get a little vegetable. Interesting. It's not too spicy. Yeah, I'm not like, I'm not like lit up or anything for sure. Yeah, I, I feel like there would be parts where I would get lit up. It doesn't, have, it doesn't have like a strong flavor though for me. It's like a light flavor. Um, a little bit of curry flavor. It's definitely, it's that Thai flavor. If you're familiar with like Thai food, how Thai has that like unique flavor to it. It definitely has that. I definitely don't taste the banana. She said we wouldn't. She said you wouldn't taste the, like a, the banana flavor. It's just more of like it sweetens it up a little bit. The chicken was good though. I like the chicken. The chicken was cooked well. I was afraid when they set it down, the chicken was wet. And usually that one right there is a no-go when the chicken looks wet like that. Um, but I thought it was good. You tried it? It's almost like shredded. See how the chicken's like, I love when chicken looks like that. I hate when it's all like condensed. I won't even eat it if it looks like that. Where it's like pure white with no, like, I don't know what to call it, flakiness. They're not flakes, but I, I, I don't know. Um, but this is really, really good. I love it. I love the charcoal like outside of the chicken. They're both actually really good. I don't know which one I like better. I feel like they're both good. Um, the, the gnocchi, I really like the gnocchi. That pesto sauce on here is is really it's, it tastes like a, kind of like a pesto sauce, um, but like a light pesto with that ricotta cheese in there. And it's a little bit a little bit of bite, but a little sweet sweet too. I really dig this, but I will say after a few bites of this. I'm kind of already like, I need something different. Um, it's all the same texture, which I should have expected. I mean, that's how gnocchi is, but I, you know, I love risotto, and I don't get that feeling. I think it's because I didn't get a protein. I should have got a protein on here. She did say you could get a protein, like a chicken or a shrimp or something on here, and I didn't get it. I should have got the protein on here because it would have, it would have given me a little bit something else, like a little bit different flavor, a little bit something else, and that would have been perfect. We're here for a late night dinner, so I hear the fireworks going off um, in Magic Kingdom. I'm kind of sick about the fact that we're not out there watching them. Can you hear them? I don't know if you can hear them on the microphone. They're not super loud, but I can hear the bangs going off. And I just saw a uh, mom and her daughter run out and be like, we gotta get to the fireworks. And they went running out there. And the waitress, she said, go out that door, it's the fastest way. So I can totally hear the fireworks though. I can just imagine it in my mind. Happily ever after. All right, so what did you think about Grand Floridian Cafe? I thought it was really good. Um, surprisingly, I got something different than I, I don't know, different than I would normally get, I guess. Kind of ventured out a little bit. Um, actually, you saw, it's let's not admit too it, different. you saw curry and you were down. <laughs> I did, um, <laughs> and it, it was really good. Um, the chicken was even good, strangely enough. I actually liked the chicken. Um, we didn't get a dessert. We were kind of full when we left. We we're like, uh. Eh. We'll see the dessert at home. <laughs> um, I was spent. It was peaceful there. I, it's like real chill. There wasn't like a lot of yeah, people there at but all. But I think that's because it was late at night. Yeah. Because I we've gone by there in the daytime and it's like a zoo out front of there. But that's because there's there's the Disney Vacation Club booth right there. Um, there's like a little waiting area. Mm -hmm. Then it's the restaurant. People are coming in and out of that main entrance. So it's literally a zoo right there. It always looked like it was a zoo. I don't know if the restaurant was, but I feel like it was. Yeah. So I think us coming late, we got to see the fireworks. So the fireworks were going off. They had the music and everything playing. You can see the fireworks. I think I got I got a little bit of it on film. Yeah. So, but so it was chill tonight. But I don't know if it's always like that. And our waitress was really good. I forget her name. She I was good. I, I looked and now I forget. She was. Great. She was really good. She even gave us to go uh, diet cokes. Oh my god. The cute little Disney World. What is this, like it's a small world almost wannabe cup or something? I don't know. But we got those to go, so that was nice. It ended up being about a hundred bucks for just the two of us. Um, overall, we both got one entree and we got the French onion soup and we both got a Diet Coke and then the tip, it was a hundred bucks. So, I guess it was a little expensive, but not yeah. too bad. Everything was good though. I feel like the soup was good, my food was good, your food was good. We both got, I got, I definitely got something that I wouldn't normally have gotten. Yeah. I did see them bring by the the pork, the braised pork thing or something. 
I should have got that because it looked really good. It was like on a, I think that was what it was. It was like on a bone and it was like sitting on top of like a polenta or mashed potato or something or I don't know what. But it looked really good and I was kind of sick that I didn't try that. So maybe next time I'll get that. The the dinner rolls though were just meh. Yeah. Those were, that was, they might as well not even bring those out. <laughs> they should just be like, we don't have anything for you. Now Sorry. let's see a mix of the biscuits that you get in the morning with breakfast were really good. Um, she was like, did you get the biscuits? I was like, no, we got rolls. And they weren't. No, good. we got busted rolls. <laughs> so. I feel like the rolls could be good. Maybe we just got like dusty rolls. <laughs> I don't know. It was good though. Um, our waitress was great. Sure. The restaurant was great. I will definitely be back. 100%. The food was fantastic. So there you have it. Um, another restaurant down. We're going to keep doing all these uh, restaurants around here at the different resorts. We do a lot of restaurants inside the parks, but we haven't done a lot of the restaurants outside of the parks in the actual resorts. So we're making the rounds and this was a good one. Yeah. I would definitely, I would recommend it. Um, Victoria and Albert's here. I've never, we've never done that yet. And probably won't. And probably won't because... It's not my kind of thing. I don't really want to, I don't want to take out a mortgage on the house to be able to go to Victoria and Albert's, do you? And no, and I don't like fancy food, so I probably wouldn't even like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm kind of sick about the fact we didn't do the Wilderness Lodge thing with the princesses, though. We're going to do that, and that's going to, because we were just there. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this review. Let us know what you think of the Grand Floridian Cafe and if it's good or not. Well, maybe we'll try breakfast. Let us know if you like it or not, if you've been here. If not, Grand Floridian, great. There's lots of things to do at Grand Floridian. I really like the promenade, obviously, and all the different stores and the different things. They had a basin in there. Yeah. So she washed her hands. Washed I smelled her. everything and then we left uh, without buying anything because we couldn't afford anything. Everything <laughs> in there was like $100. It's really expensive. I mathed it out and it would cost me like $20 to take a bath one time. <laughs> So I'm cool with that. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Let us know what you think, and we will see you again next time. Hit that notifications button so you know when the next video drops. Until then, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.